Satnam and welcome back. In this video I'm going to walk you through the five steps of healing. These are the exact steps I have taken and continue to use in my own healing journey and I'm really really excited to share them with you. If you haven't watched the first three videos yet make sure you go and watch them now. They're filled with a ton of information. In the first video I shared with you what trauma is, the impact of trauma on the mind body system and how you can make dramatic changes through Kundalini Yoga. In the second video I shared with you the working component parts of Kundalini Yoga. We use yogic exercises which release emotions and work on the body and the organs. We direct the breath through breathing techniques and also use sound which is called mantra. In the third video I shared with you one of my go-to breath meditations um, how to reset the, which resets the nervous system and you also get the opportunity to practice it so if you haven't tried it yet go back and watch the video um, it's an incredible breathing exercise and you can do it for as little as three minutes so what are the five steps to healing in this program we will be working with the five steps that I have used and they are the building blocks for the program and in my experience, the building blocks for, for healing. So we have healing on a soul level, healing on an energetic level, healing through habits and setting up new habits and disciplines, healing through the companies of company of others, and also healing through the wounds of the heart. So healing on a soul level, what is that? Well, everything actually begins with the soul. The soul forms part of you. Some people doubt the existence of the soul. But when we first enter this life as a spirit, the soul enters the body and it's surrounded by the subtle body. The soul works in its own time and it has no agenda and it cannot be manipulated. Sometimes the soul can seem very remote especially when we're functioning in the world, not fully engaged in it. The soul does have a mission and that's what makes us unique as human beings. For the soul to interpret its experiences, it was given the mind. And it is through the mind we can become lost, unable to fully experience the fullness of the heart, where compassion and kindness, love, tolerance, and higher states of consciousness reside. Whether we are stuck in our head or whether we're stuck in our hearts we will determine the connection with our soul body. It's a very personal and intimate relationship and that is experienced from within. Through this practice it is my intention for you to experience that and to build a very strong relationship with your soul so actually you become your own soulmate. Through the practices, I have tested them on myself and I'll be sharing them with you in this program. And they do definitely cultivate a deep relationship with yourself. So trauma no longer becomes the norm. Healing on an energy level. Well, healing comes, energy comes in many forms. When we first enter this life as a spirit and then we're born. We spend many of our early years learning how to function in the physical body and in the world. There comes a time when we must understand and reclaim our spirit and our energetic nature. We come to know the basic life energy is that of the universe. To make this shift, we need to expand our understanding of our energy blueprint. Food and thoughts, and they're all forms of energy, and the energy does actually impact on our energy levels. Dance and mindfulness techniques, they're all forms of uh, energy and, and moving. Kundalini is an astonishing energy which lies dormant at the base of the spine until it's activated and channeled up through the chakras, which are the psychic centers within. The prana transforms negative patterning or experiences. 
changing how we feel about ourselves, our bodies and our lives. Healing through change of our habits and setting up good habits and discipline are important. Once we've identified our relationship with the soul and relate to that and how we use our energy will become the outcome of how we heal. When you suffer with trauma, all sorts of things can happen. You can become stressed and in turn release cortisone, which can cause you to get fat around your stomach. One of the best habits we can set for ourselves is the dedication to the soul and ourself. Setting an intention and doing a spiritual practice. The practice of the meditations throughout this course have all been used to support the release of heightened emotions, recurring and repeating memories, so they can be released through the meditations rather than through daydreams and night dreams. Meditation becomes the medicine which supports the unfoldment of the experience of the self and the soul in a conscious way. When we are happy and we cultivate strong habits, we naturally show up for ourselves and do what is right for ourselves. In turn, we lose weight. Weight gain is normally through stress, trauma, or generally through unhappiness. Healing through the company of others. Good company is really important. Feeling supported just through the presence of another can begin the process of healing. As they say, a problem aired is a problem shared. The yoga is what does the work for you. So you have to do the yoga practice yourself. Because it's ultimately about the relationship with the soul within. However, it's also very human to be supported with others where you can feel safe in their presence and environment. Ah, healing through the wounds of the heart. Did you know when you look into the eyes, you will see the radiance of your spirit. When the eyes are bright, the rhythm of the heart energy is flowing. The skin has a radiance to it. And this makes you look very healthy. When your eyes are dull, maybe back pain, shoulder pain, the energy of the heart may be blocked. We cut off and isolate ourselves from others, all common when experiencing or releasing trauma. The Divine Spirit dwells in our hearts. The mind flows through the body and through our water system. The heart chakra is the power station, so that when our spiritual force or love is flowing into the heart, the force flows into the other chakras within the body and they all light up. So nothing is found outside of you. It's all found within you. The energy of the heart links to the aura and to our magnetic field. And that's what protects our life. It makes us feel connected and loved. Building co-creative relationships with the spirit which sits in the heart is my personal experience and the key to healthy living and healing emotional wounds and moving the energy. Forgiveness is a fundamental part of healing wounds of the heart, there's no doubt about that, which we will explore during the upcoming program. Kundalini Yoga will naturally heal the wounds of the heart through the love of the spirit, which is you. So all of this and a lot more will be covered, covered in my upcoming Healing Trauma program. I'll take you through the five steps using Kundalini Yoga. There will also be a small collection of Kundalini Yoga practices and lectures for healing sexual trauma and domestic violence. So make sure that you're on the lookout for when uh, this program launches because it's only going to be in a limited number of places available. So if you wish to join me on this journey of healing, make sure that you click on the link underneath this video and reserve your place on the waiting list. This really is going to be a rare opportunity to work with me and a group of people, and there will be a limited number of places. 
So make sure you sign up on the, the booking list to get early access to the program before we open it up to the public. Now, in the next video, I'll share with you my own personal experience of trauma, which was cultivated over 30 years, working with the dark side of humanity. I'll share with you some of the healing process that I personally went through and um, how pain really can become joy and how sorrow can become happiness. And that I did through Kundalini Yoga, which I'm delighted to share with you. I hope this video was helpful and uh, I really hope that you're able to join me on this program. Please don't suffer in silence like I did for years. This really is a unique opportunity to work with a professional and an expert. So please join me. Stay tuned for the next video in the series. And if you have any questions, then just pop a comment uh, below. And thank you so much for uh, joining me and watching this video today. I cannot wait to see you um, in the next video. So don't forget to sign up for the early uh, reservation on the list on the link underneath this video. Thank you again and I look forward to seeing you soon.